Yo, what's up everybody? Today we're talking about how to balance gimbals and without further ado, let's get started. So that's usually how the gimbal is shipped, with the arms packed together. The newer models come with locks on the arms, so you can just lock them so they don't fill around and tension motors. That was a problem with older models if you just throw them into a backpack. In filmmaking we talk about the tilt axis, the roll axis and the pan axis. And same goes for the gimbal. We've got our tilt axis, the roll axis and the pan axis. So we want to lock the roll axis and the pan axis if possible on the gimbal. If not it's just a little bit more fiddly to balance the thing. We want to get all the accessories in, so battery, SD card, get your ND filters on there or mist filters. If you use a zoom lens, you want to extend it halfway, so that's full, like so. So if you choose to zoom in or out later, we want throw off the balance completely. Screw on the quick release plate. In my case, it's a two-way system, so I need to add the second one and lock it. Then you just need to attach the camera to the gimbal, like so. Unlock the tilt arm and just move it up a little. Now you can see the camera is swinging around. We want it to be horizontal. If you want to flip out the screen, now is the time to do so, as this throws off the balance as well. You can adjust it a little, like so. Now we need to tilt it up, and that's balanced already. Now that shouldn't be the case. Usually it's like this. So the camera is falling to one side, if it's falling forwards, you need to slide the tilt arm backwards. And if it's falling backwards, you need to slide it towards the front. And just do this till it's balanced. And just lock it again. You know it's balanced when you can tilt the camera anywhere and it will just stay there. All right, tilt arm balanced. So you want to unlock the roll axis you can see it's tilting to the right so you need to adjust the roll arm to the left all right that's balanced enough so the next axis we want to balance is the pan axis that's a little harder to do just unlock it and use your hip as support if it's too heavy to lift so you want to have the motor horizontal the roll motor so you need to screw this off and just adjust it Till it stays kind of horizontal, I think that's fine. And then you can just set it down again. So now you should be able to move the camera in any direction and it should just stay there. Yep. Sometimes you need to adjust the roll and the tilt axis again as the pan axis can throw off the balance a little when you balance the gimbal on unlevel ground. So like outdoors, you can just turn it on. And it works. Thanks for watching. Comment down below if you want a tutorial on different gimbal moves to tell your story. And while scrolling down, be sure to hit that like button. It makes a difference. That's all for today. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.